Do you remember that a couple of weeks ago I said that I was going to try and do two videos a week? I'm going to push two videos at least live a week. It's not going particularly well. I mean I have been busy and in my defence I, I did try and record this video last week. Uh, I just got a bit distracted. I'm sat in the kitchen next to this huge window because I think there's going to be a massive storm and uh, well this window is a good place to sit for it. Anyway, this video is about my favourite website for help with Photoshop, which is a website called Pixel Squid. Uh, this isn't any kind of paid advertisement, obviously my channel is still tiny, so I don't think they'd be interested in that. But, if in the future somehow I manage to get hold of any discount codes or anything, I'll stick them below. To paint a bit of a picture of why I find Pixel Squid so useful, I think up until about a year ago, probably, yeah, yeah, yeah about a year ago, any Photoshop creation that I brought together was using all of my own images and nobody else's. So if I wanted to go and get a photo of a skyscraper, I'd go and take a photo of a skyscraper. If I wanted to put a basketball hoop on that skyscraper, I'd go and try and take a picture of a basketball hoop. And if I couldn't find one, I'd buy a basketball hoop to then put that onto the skyscraper. It's, it's quite a lot of faff, to be honest. And lots of people use stock images, but I've always felt it's more authentic um, to use my own. And largely I still do that, you know, if I'm doing a commercial project or if I'm working on a personal project that I think might work for things like prints and cards and tea towels and stuff, then I will do absolutely everything in my power to make sure that I go and take the images myself. But, if I've got like a half-baked idea that I think will work for like a tweet or an Instagram post or something, I don't always have three or four days to be able to go and shoot all those images just to upload a social post. So in those instances, I've, I've become a bit more relaxed about trying to use some stock images. So the other day I was looking through my big long list of, uh, big long list of ideas, like keeping Evernote. I came across one that, uh, I mean, I didn't really have a clue what I was talking about, to be honest, which is quite often the case. All I had is idea number 33, late departure. Didn't know what I meant by that, but I thought I'd start looking at some stock images that had something loosely to do with a concept called late departure. And naturally I came across lots of images of planes and carnage, chaos and airports, and baggage and traffic jams. And But this image in particular stood out to me. I think this is from Adobe Stock. It didn't really lead me any closer to how I could bring this into a concept called late departure. But that said, I happened to be enjoying a coffee at the time. Cheers. I mean, I finished it now. It would have been good if I'd actually had a full coffee. And I thought to myself, that jet engine, it's not too dissimilar to the shape of a coffee mug. And then I thought, well, what if it's not late departure? What if it's latte departure? High five. No? Alright. Now, back in the day, what I'd have probably had to do is either go on stock sites and try and find a photo of the exact right perspective and same light to match that other stock image that I've got, which is quite unlikely, time consuming and massively frustrating. Or I'd have had to go into a cafe, convince them to let me set up all my lighting and tripods and stuff, get them to make me the perfect coffee, I'd have to convince them to let me shoot and show them my insurance certificates for liability and stuff so that, you know, if anyone was to trip over the tripods and that. It would have been a nightmare. I mean, the other option is I could have bought a coffee machine and maybe gone on like a little barista course or something. I might still do that. That would actually be quite cool. Now though, I can turn to a service called Pixel Squid. Now, if you've not come across Pixel Squid, it's the same company that owns Turbo Squid, I think, which is like 3D images for people that do 3D design, I guess. And Pixel Squid is basically their solution for people who use Photoshop. So while the images aren't 3D, they have lots of 2D images available in lots of different perspectives. And you can go on the collections and there are thousands of different images and objects that you can download and are available to use in any of your Photoshop work. It's an incredible service and I mean, they've got some fairly obscure stuff on there. Elk, for example. I mean, do you, want a, do you want a 2D image of an elk? Hey! But obviously in this instance, I'm interested in coffee. You go on coffee, you find dozens of different photos of coffee, and all you have to do is pick one you think might work, choose the perspective that you think might work, download the PSD, open it up in Photoshop, and there's even a plugin to help you with that process, and you get a nice layered file where you can get rid of the background, get rid of the shadows that they've created for you, and it saves so much time in avoiding things like masking away the backgrounds that you don't want and all that rubbish. It's amazing. And I guess all that's left here is to just put together the image.
Tabate Departure. I think that's one of my better names. Bit of a shame I didn't use my own images for this one. Don't mind. But yeah, if you're into Photoshop creations and uh, you struggle to get some of the images or objects that you want in your creations, sometimes Pixel Squid is a good service to try out. I think there's some sort of free trial, and after that, it's maybe like $10 a month, $15 a month, something like that. 100% worth it as far as I'm concerned. But thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider hitting the subscribe button or um, or the like thumb. I hate it when people on YouTube say that, and here I am saying it myself. Two resolutions, trying to do two videos a week, and not begging people to subscribe or like your video. We'll see how we get on.